Hello guys, it's Nate and welcome back and I am opening our second Floodborne Lorcana box. Let's see what I get. Hopefully another enchanted. All right, let's get into ripping this box open. Uh, you know, the correct way, not the monstrous way I did last time. So after last opener, I'm going to do left or right side last. We're going to go left to right. Now, when it comes to the Floodborne, I still need a few more cards in order to make the optimal deck that I want. I'm still missing a Prince John, a Pete, um, two Queens, and a Duke. So, let's see if I can get it. Jiminy Cricket, Mulan, Donald Duck Sleepwear, Basil, Hold Still, Prince, Snake, Impulsive Ruler, Queen of Hearts, Sh uh, Leisha, Wait and Cinderella, perfect card. Oh, and this is going in my discard deck. Cold foil, Daisy Duck. All right, left side starting out strong. Gave us a hit card in there with Cinderella, who's starting to see some play in Steel Song, and to be honest, she deserves it. And a card for my own deck, because how I would love a full cold foil deck. Ooh, Pete, nice. We are, we're just giving me all the cards I want for my deck today. <clears throat> Pete's pretty good. It's basically just a kind of a speedster, right? Like, or not a speedster. By playing extra cards, you're allowing yourself to kill bigger targets. And sometimes that extra reach is exactly what you need. But I digress. So that was the last Pete I need. We got a Miss Johnson, a perplexing side post, and I just love enchanted cards. I will gladly take this author enchanted. Ooh, he looking pretty. We are now two for two when it comes to Floodborne Enchanted and he's amazing i need to see if he's starting to see in the top tier purple decks but i do know he's starting to see some play at least in the tournaments i go to he's seen some play uh tournaments i go to about 15 people on average so basil grumpy merlin felicia queen of hearts magic broom daisy duck launch fairy godmother Lumineer, Lady Trin, and then a cold foil launch. Man, that Arthur still got me distracted. I just keep looking over at you, bud. But, yeah. I, there's something about opening Disney Lorcana. It's just so much fun. Because every card you see just makes you want to relive memory lane on songs stories even the books or like the picture books that i used to read as a kid straight little john and mini it's just it's pure nostalgia and i gotta give it to disney disney or ravenberger whoever is designing it you guys are hitting that nostalgia nerve and it just makes me love opening Lorcana, and I hope you guys are in that same boat with me okay we got Merlin Rabbit King Louie and then a now operative thief this card's pretty good I like it. it the resist and the ward slam together just makes it such a difficult target to kill two costs is perfect for the speed deck Blue wants to try to supercharge their inkwell though. So, I don't know. It feels wonky when you're tr just dropping something on two that does nothing for your inkwell. And I can't imagine it doing a lot in your late game. Mulan, ooh, very nice Snow White. And then Panic. If I pull a Pain Cold Foil, very first thing I'm doing after this is watching Hercules, Hercules. All right, last pack on the left side. Left side's already won. There's 
there's no competition, but you know, if I'm not gonna in include the enchanted card, let's see if left side still wins without it. Okay, we got a Gaston and the Peddler. Ooh, and a Cold Foil Grand Pebble. This card is not too bad at all. All right. Besides the Enchanted, left side didn't really give me too many power cards. Did give me two cards that I want for my deck. And a Snow White. Snow White's useful, so we'll take those. Middle. Let's see what middle can do now. Hmm. Cusco. Peter Pan, Enchantress, Duke Westington, Mulan, Last Cannon, Madame Mim, Most Despicable, Jafar, Pack Tactics, and my word, this box has already been fantastic to me, and I will always take this beast. Beast Tragic Hero is so good. What he does is so insane. By just having no damage counters on him, he is just constantly putting up pressure and he forces you to waste so much resources on taking him down. This is our third one, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna, I might have to just start building a Steel Song deck because if we get a full play site of that beast, yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. It's, it's just too good. Zero to hero, hero. Ooh, Yuzma too, and Legends of Sword. But yeah, like just drawing cards, and then he just has four attack once you do damage him if you can't kill him. So he's going to just take somebody else with him. And with two quests, two quests as well, he's just so nasty to deal with. Uh, the better looking beast though. Hmm, falling down the rabbit hole. Honest John and then Benji. Although I will I will say something about this box. This box seems to be a little weird. Some of the cards almost seem faded, and I don't know why. I don't want to say that's a printing thing because Well, this box has already been fantastic to me. So why would I want to say that? But it's one of those things where it's just like I really hope that it's just my imagination. Although when you look at this Daisy Duck, it definitely looks faded. Something doesn't feel right when I look at it. Ooh, queen needed her. Only one more queen. Ooh, Lucifer, cold foil, very nice. This is like a backup because we're having a hard time getting Rapunzel's. So Lucifer is just kind of taken over in that Rapunzel slot. But yeah, I'm... I'm excited to see Lucifer. That's going to be my fourth one. And the cold foiling just looks really awesome on him. But I still need our queen. Yeah, this Pinocchio. I don't know if they're just going with a different print on that. But it just looks so wonky. I mean, it doesn't seem to affect our rares. It seems like it's in some kind of weird common slot. And it also only seems to be affecting certain cards like Pinocchio and uh, Pinocchio Mother, and I saw it in Mouse's Armor. That's it's kind of weird. But like I said, I haven't seen it in a single one of the rares, or at least I haven't noticed it in the rares, probably because I'm like, oh, this rare looks great. Oh, this rare is good for this deck. Yeah, the bounce has got it a little bit. He is a little bit. Dopey looks fine. Madame Moon Fox. Yeah, Grand Pebble looks fine. Ooh, Chief. I haven't noticed it in Cold Foilings. So maybe this is just some kind of hiccup. I really hope it isn't. The Larkana, uh, the cards are kind of crashing on this set, but that's because this set's so much more common than the first set. So it just, it's to be expected why it's crashing. But if there's some kind of printing error, like like this, uh, the, this set's gonna even be crashed more. Yeah, look at, that is just worn down. And mm. so, yeah, this this type of stuff just looks wonky and weird. This is a little wonky, and even this like stripe down here next to the lore counter is kind of odd. 
It doesn't seem to be in every card. But ironically, it seems to be in the rares. And a few of the commons and uncommons. Like, you can see it right there. That's just really weird. But then it's not in all of them. Yeah, this is some kind of printing error. And it kind of sucks to see it. Ugh. Because it's in about half of this box. And it just... It feels wrong to see it. It doesn't seem like any of the cold steel got it. Or cold foiling got it. So that feels a lot better. Unfortunately, I've noticed like it the white bar is most definitely on this tragic beast. I mean, if we're keeping it, it's not a big deal, but it still feels bad to see like a card that you know that it's worth something. Just get ugh. All right, on to the left side. Left side, I'm sorry. Um, middle gave me a tragic hero. Right gave me an author. And did I say, I think I said right. Left gave me tra uh, tragic hero. Middle gave me, ugh. Calm yourself. Left gave me author. Middle gave me tragic hero. I don't think you could do much right. I hope I hope you could do something to make me feel impressed. But we'll see. Uh Beast Relentless. Like, you tried. You you heard Beast and you're like, you know what? I I I here's a beast, and unfortunately it's not Tragic Hero. Like I said, with one more, I'm I'm definitely willing to try to build any kind of steel song deck. I mean, we have a part of your or we have a part of your world. We have a whole new world playset. Like, it would be awesome to see the last one. Um, I mean, obviously we don't have the Rapunzel's because even my discard deck doesn't have it. But like, those, those can be replaced with Gifted Artisan. It's just, it's nowhere near as good. Not by a long shot. And... Uh, the fading is still on these as well. Oh, poor Robin. You you normally look great. Hey, I needed this Flynn. That, that leaves only one more Flynn too. I did forget I needed another Flynn Rider. I don't know how I could forget that. Yeah, my, my discard deck was janky. And every one of these cards that I get pushes it, that deck even closer to this monstrous control discard. Jasmine, Mulan, Teacup, Mulan, Arthur, Cinderella, Chessar Cat, Blue Fairy, Snow White, ooh, Pinocchio. Thank God it doesn't look faded. Grandfather Clock and a Popsicle Cold Foil. It's like most of the money cards, ironically, don't have the fading problems. Um, a lot of the commons, uncommons, the ones that, even the rares that aren't worth much, those ones seem to have the problem which appreciation uh, i guess at least if we were to try to sell them or try to trade them it's not gonna hurt us in the end Ooh, grand duke needed that for my discard deck that was the, that was the last one i only plan on running three in that this dragon gym cold foil you know it's got a nice dark background to it three packs left uh, after how insane this box is, I don't expect any last pack magic. I'm perfectly content. This this box has lived up to its name. And other than seeing pain, cold foil. That is, ooh, first time I've seen a Sean Carter. And then another Arthur. All right. Other than pain, that is the last card I want to see. Only because... I will 100% watch Hercules. It's been a long time coming since I've seen that movie. Seeing Zero the Hero almost made me do it already. One of my favorites of all time. I hope it's one of your favorites too. So, yeah. Oh my word. Queen of Hearts. You just look like you've been through some stuff. Hercules, another Beast Relentless, and then a Mother... Yeah, even in this cold foiling. No, you can't really see it, but that's what I mean. Like, that fade just makes me now look at every card. All right, last pack magic. 
You don't have to show up, it's okay. Cruella DeVille, Piglet, Winnie the Pooh, Minnie Mouse, Hypnotize, Benji, Binding Contract, Pain, but not quite in the right slot, bud, Caterpillar, Bippity Boppity Boo, Beast, Selfless Protector, and then a Headstrong Rhea. Um, it's cool seeing every beast. I do enjoy all the beasts in this set. Uh, only one's really worth much, but still. To be honest, guys, um, as for the second box opening, I had a lot of fun with it until I started noticing the, uh, the fading. I hope this isn't a thing that we're going to see in the future. It's just bad press right there. Let's just hope that's what it is. In any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed the journey. I hope you go watch Hercules. Like, I'm 99.3% certain I'm about to watch it. Have a beautiful, blessed day, guys. Peace.